Unfortunately, Buckles, it's time to pay up. Parting is such sweet sorrow. The income outgo. This really tires me out. That's because it's a very taxing experience. Well, Ringo, my boy, it was ever thus. Ever? Ever. Why, even way back in the time of Robin Hood, your ancestors were paying taxes. Robin Hood? He never happened. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, so. So. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, so. Aha! Tis Ringo a green. What aileth thee, Ringo? Look, I received this in the morning mail. Thou art hereby ordered to pay 12 pounds of gold, five shillings, two kegs of ale. Yeah, me broketh. Faithful and stored friends, I do implore thee. How can we pay our taxes? Robin Hood? He never happened. Maintain your cool, Ringo, baby, cause we'll get the bread. <laughs> Look, an advertisement for ye only Nottingham jousting, the archery and the wrestling contest, too. Open to one and all. First prize, a hundred clams. Let's just throw the gab, split the scene, cop the prize, and pay the man. It's too much, man. It's too much. He never happened. Well said, Little John, but me fairest they might recognize us. Have you flipped your lid, Ari? Now here you are, big Ari, a pair of the sheets and some of the fuzz. Little John, thou art a genius. So let's swing. I expect Robin Hood and Little John to show up in disguise. Uh, but um, how will we recognize them, uh, Sheriff? They say one of them will be seven feet tall. Uh, w will they have any distinguishing characteristics? Numbskull! Now get out there and look! Your turn, stranger. <laughs> Robin Hood? Run! After them, you fools! Wow! Simple times! Savage beast. What soothes the savage beast? Music.
Wow. Robin Hood? He never happened. Never ever happened. <laughs> yeah. Everyone ready for the sing-along? This is the part of the show in which all you people at home join in and sing right along with us. Now, this first song starts off with a real bang. Hold everything, George. Did I just hear you say this song starts off with a bang? My very words. Well, if you really expect the people at home to join in, you first ought to put them in the right mood. Yeah, the right mood. Certainly. You've got to create the proper atmosphere. Here, I'll show you. Well, what do you think? I think you flipped your blinking wig. Well, you said this next song starts with a... <laughs> Bang! <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you wouldn't rather do smoke gets in your eyes? <laughs> yeah. Sing, people. Well, that was pretty good, but I expect you to do even better on this next number. Just stand right up and shout out the lyrics. Are you ready? Hold it, George. Ain't you forgetting something? Forgetting something? The setting, I keep telling you, you've got to put the audience in the proper mood first. Well, the last time I listened to your suggestion, we were nearly blown to smithereens. So, now you're exaggerating. Smithereens is a good ten miles from here. What you say? Give us one more chance, eh? Hey? Well, you're all right. This next song is one that really takes off. Take off, you say? Uh, I think I've got just the right thing. Contact! <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Let's save it for when we do the flight of the bumble brain. Sing, children.
nothing better than a nice, quiet, uneventful journey, eh? You. What was all that about? Those kids? They were fighting with that old lady. Uh, they said she was a witch. Uh, she's not really a witch, is she? <laughs> There's no such thing as witches. There are. Oh, no, there ain't. Oh, yes, there are. I say there ain't. Oh, yes, there is. There are. There, there is. There is. Okay, okay, we'll prove it. We'll visit her. Right, this way. No, this way. This way. This way. This way. I said this way. I said this way. Gangway, the witch is coming. That, that way. way. Help, help, help. Help, help, help. Help, help, help. Yeah, I'm on Mother Rigby and the witch. Yeah. Horrible little Herbert. Now, what's all the trouble, sir? <laughs> They say, oh, Mrs. Rigby's a witch. A witch? I'd say she's just a sad, bitter old lady. It's her sociological environment, sir. You've said that before. And he'll say it again. He knows his rights. Uh, say our witch. Say our witch. Say our witch. Stop. Whoa. Now, what is all this hell? It's our mother Rigby. She's a witch. She hates us. She's ugly. Hmm. Well, I would say you're mistaken in your diagnosis. She's just lonely and shy. He knows about these things. Lonely? Shy? I think James is right. And something should be done about it, right? Right. Tell him about Eleanor Rigby. Well, I guess that had some effect. Yeah, our audience all ran away and hid in that hut. Let's go and see what's happening. Nearly there. Don't be scared. This way. Surprise! Surprise! 